Hello YouTube, I have more Pokemon VR action for you. Today, you'll see me do some more training, get the Cascade Badge, and explore the routes going to Vermilion City. I tried using a mix of transitions and increased video speeds, so let me know which ones you like more in the comments below. Constructive feedback also helps me make better videos, so leave those in the comments section as well. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell if you want to be notified of new videos when I post them, and of course my weekend streams which I'll be doing every weekend. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so here we have the Cerulean Gym. Basic design from most uh, of the Kanto games. So I'm just transitioning between the trainers here just to speed things along, along a bit. Uh, one thing that surprised me is these trainers are not swimmers, they're just random trainers, and they don't all have water Pokemon. What really caught my attention was that one having a Pikachu. Uh, just like in any gym. This one had a, a few more than I expected. Or a couple more trainers than I expected. Then there's Misty. The way she looks in Pokemon Let's Go. And she only has two of her Pokemon in here. First one is Psyduck and the second one's Starmie. Of course, with my Pikachu, I take him out quickly. And just to make sure my I have my badge, it's on my profile right there, a little, little ribbon there. Of course, what kind of trainer would I be if I didn't visit the Pokemon Center afterwards? Get my Pokemon freshly healed and energized. And then here we speed things up. Uh, now that Misty is defeated, uh, these trainers on this bridge uh, become active and start challenging you. They te uh, seemed like uh, that it was just random trainers. No real rhyme or reason to which one and to why they picked these. The one thing that surprised me is they randomly picked out a Team Rocket Grunt. Yeah, I sped this along, just battle after battle, it can get pretty boring in real time. Then we go into the next route. This one is where uh, Bill's house is. Uh, if you remember the older games, uh, Bill's house is where you went if you talked to Bill. Uh, the, the name of the PC that your Pokemon store will change from someone's PC to Bill's PC. Little factoid for you there. Yeah, aside from uh, aside from the positioning of the trainers, they really did make this, you know, feel like uh, it's between Pokemon Let's Go and the old Kanto games, just in first person view. And it was really, really nice to see. Uh, not really too terribly sure, but I don't think these, uh, the placement of the trainers is, you know, that much similar to the games. Uh, it felt like there were more trainers in, in the actual games themselves. But that's just me, um, the way it felt to me. Unfortunately, they have not, uh, put Bill in yet, so, kind of... Go back, heal up the Pokemon from the battles, and continue on to go south. This is where the daycare is. It's just a standard route, just like in the games. And just like in the games, you have to go through the underground path, which doesn't make too much sense that it doesn't have a roof on it. 
But the game's still in development. We'll just let it go for now. See what they come up with uh, by release time. And we'll get take care of these trainers here. These trainers fell a little bit closer to um, the way that they were in the games. Just just different kinds of trainers. But the placement seemed pretty spot on. Try to catch her solosis and I got it. And here I decided to switch out Metal Claw for Flame Burst. Only because Steel type moves are not effective against too many things. Uh, it, it is effective by a good amount, but in the state this game's in, um, the type effectiveness is not fully there. But here we are in Vermilion City, and layout is just like in uh, Pokemon Let's Go. You can see the Saint Anne in the distance. And building glitch there. Right. Can't wait to see what they do with this. Love to see how they design the interior. See, they kind of expand on it beyond what's in the game. And got to do some training. Get those levels up so we can challenge the Vermilion Gym. Lieutenant Surge for the Thunder Badge. Though they say um, Mega Evolutions are in the game, haven't quite figured uh, figured it out at this point in the video yet. So, can have to do a little bit more research on it, and hopefully I can figure it out because uh, items are not in the games, but apparently Pokemon can make it evolve. So hopefully, um, there's a way to do it without needing the uh, Mega Evolution Stones. Some really good Pokemon here. Drowsy. Wormpool isn't way too easy to beat. I wouldn't mind getting a Beautifly though. I almost kind of wish that they'd uh, do the different colorings on the Beautifly, uh, like that one butterfly Pokemon from X and Y. I, I forget the name of it, but that one, uh, it its colors change, or its colors are different based on where it evolves. So, I think they could have done that with Beautifly. It's 
Vermilion's up to level 33 now. With this game being still kind of new and still in the alpha stages. Ooh, a ditto. You don't see too many people logged in at once. So it kind of feels like... <coughs> Excuse me. feels like, uh, you know, it's, you're by yourself in there. Which is alright, especially when you're trying to, do, trying to do stuff like me and level your Pokemon. Unfortunately, I ran out of Pokeballs here, so I couldn't throw more at Ditto. Decided uh, to uh, start heading towards the Pokemon Center. I just want to see what that person was up to. And, you know, go after that drowsy real quick. But yeah, purchase some Pokeballs here, see if we can catch a ditto. But that's the end of that video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. And I will be streaming on Saturday. Don't know what time yet, so keep an eye on my channel.